Go back with another video, quick video. Try not to take too much of you guys' time. Um, if the video looks funny, I'm using my new tablet that I bought. I just want to see how it works, so that's the reason why it, the video looks the way it does. Nevertheless, um, I want to talk about this SNK versus Capcom SVC Chaos. Why is it not come to Xbox? Um, a lot of people are wondering at this point what the in what the hell is going on, basically. Um, first, the Marvel vs. Uh, Capcom Collection. There's a couple of other games that was not put on Xbox due to MT Frameworks. But this game is not an MT Frameworks game. This is an SNK King of Fighters game um, developed by Code Mystics. It should not be a problem to be on the uh, Xbox brand. But I, I'm, I'm starting to think it's, an, uh, it's a Capcom and Xbox issue. More likely, probably Xbox. Uh, because now this is an SNK game, and even the SNK game, even though it features Capcom fighters, it's not on the platform. Uh, something's going on at Xbox. I don't know what it is, and it's it's kind of weird because uh, I, I I I'm kind of disappointed. I do love the Xbox. I'm more of an original Xbox fan, not necessarily the series. I do like the series, and I'm going to collect for it. But my roots is in the original Xbox. Um, the series is just a, a console that uh, it reminds me of the original Xbox, but um, at the end of the day, I would love to see this game on the you know, Xbox series. I thought it'd be really cool. It, it, it's it's kind of funny because in North America, we got this game on the original Xbox. And it's kind of weird that a U.S. exclusive <laughs> that was on the Xbox... Not on not in on the PlayStation 2, unless if you got the Japanese version, which I have here is the Japanese version. This is the only way you was able to play it on the PlayStation 2. It's not even on the original Xbox now. It's 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 kind of disheartening. What I think is gonna go forward is I think Xbox is gonna start just phasing out a lot of these uh top type of games that's gonna be on the Xbox and, and no no telling if it'll be on the next console, but uh a lot of people are pissed. And, that, and, I, and that's understandable because these are some really good fighting games. Now, another thing that people are saying that these games don't sell well. That's the reason why the game's not on it. You know, a lot of games uh, are not doing that well on Xbox because of, you know, it's so far behind in the console war. war. And that could be the case, but I just don't think that's the reason because I really believe that the problem is, is, is it got to be something to do with Xbox and Capcom and nobody's talking. Because if it was really a problem that other games that, that is so far behind in sales, I would think other games would be able to, you know, follow suit and not be on the Xbox platform. I mean, is that the case? I don't see a situation where other companies are like blatantly not putting their new or re-release content on the Xbox. Most Companies are try to put this stuff on Game Pass, which that is starting to be an issue as well. And you look at the whole big picture of things, which I really don't really like to get into too much. But um, I think Xbox, the console side of things, is dying off. I think they're really starting to lean towards this Game Pass digital, you know, um, you know, playing games just on a box type of service where it's not your traditional console. I just did a video not too long ago about they're pushing all digital. And, uh, and and not only that, they have basically two different consoles that are out right now. Some are saying that some games don't need to be developed for both SKUs, Xbox Series X and S. Some people are saying that the, the Xbox is trying to get rid of not putting games on the Xbox One at all because of smart delivery. And if you can't develop for all, basically all three, in some cases, even four platforms, if you're talking about Xbox One, Xbox One X, Xbox One S, you know, you know, all, all those different type of platforms that, that are going through the smart delivery uh, mechanic, you, you, some companies probably be like, no, nah, I'm not going to deal with that. Maybe that's the case with this. But these are 2D fighting games that are less than 500 megs in most cases, to, to put together. So I, I don't know what it is. It, it seems like there's a lot going on here, and it's, it's it's kind of disheartening at the end of the day if you're an Xbox fan. Now, for me, I bought the game on PC. Um, I do, like I said, I still have both copies here if I wanted to play them. 
I'm not really pressed on, you know, actually if I couldn't get the game on Xbox or whatever case may be, like the current Xbox, but I'm looking at other people who don't collect games like I do. People who just want to play a game that's on their preferred platform of choice, and that platform of choice may well be the Xbox series or the Xbox One or the Xbox, you know, you know what I mean? And they cannot play it. So, I... And, and, and also, this game is not backwards compatible through the original Xbox backwards compatibility program, which I'm actually surprised that it's not because other SNK games are backwards compatible. I think like the King of Fighters, uh, Mania X or something like that. One of those 3D King of Fighters, they're, they're backwards compatible. I think Metal Slug, I, I could be wrong, Metal Slug could be as well. But um, maybe that is a Capcom thing as well. Why this is not backwards compatible, I don't know. It's, it's just really, really weird at the end of the day. But I look at it like this, y'all. Um, I, I, I always feel like it, if you really want to play the game, there's other ways to play it. It, it really is. Some people got the game through the um, developer mode. Um, some people got the game through emulation on that PC. Some people have the original copies like I do. So... You know, so it, 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 it's, it, it's disheartening, but that's just the way things are now, man. It, it, it sucks for Xbox, you know. It's going to be really, it's going to be really tough when the Marvel vs. Capcom collection come out. Because that's when, that's when it's going to really hit. Because you're going to see a lot of people playing those games, which are incredible fighting games. And they're not going to be able to play it on Xbox. What does this say for the um, um, Capcom vs. SNK collection? You know, when Capcom does that collection, and I'm pretty sure that's not going to be on Xbox either. So, it it is it's, it really sucks right now. It really does. But let me know what y'all think. I know I've seen some people give some feedback already saying because of its low or low sales. But at the end of the day, I really believe that um, the problem is it has something to do with Xbox and Capcom and whatever they're doing with their re-releases. Um, I'm pretty sure like Street Fighter VI was already put out. And um, on, on on Xbox, so you know they do have some type of relationship, but the but the there's a line drawn somewhere where certain games just not going to be on the Xbox brand. So I want to get up out of here. I, I it, it's been a, a fun day today. I had you know went to work, spent time with the family. Typical Monday, man. But hopefully you guys enjoy the rest of your week, and I'll be back with more videos. I'll see you guys on the next one. Like, share, subscribe. Peace.